So, uh, so that means so we 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 deploy the application, we we run the applications, and then we, we run the application. But if you saw the pictures like that, <coughs> so we, we we run the applications like the application port nine nine eight, and then all the log information is there. So it is the development environment, dev environments. We are in the in the in the looking path. We are here in the in the file systems. And we are Tomcat is started and properly configure the application and running the application properly. What we are expecting, what you are done. So yeah, that means that your application. If I go to the testing the our health checks, the actuator because I already integrated the 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 actuator information into this my Spring Boot applications. If you saw the information, it has the profiles, health, and then health conditions. If you go to these conditions, maybe we can check it like here. So 998, maybe additionals. We didn't need help to here. So actuator health. So you see the application is up. So all the things working properly. That's what we expected. We can send. We have all the informations, and then we have also <coughs> uh, some the get methods that with the sorting mechanism. We have only simple entries, the 201 and 202. We have a post methods. Maybe we can check it like again the four, and uh, all everything works. That's that's I said because this is I. Uh, those who are new in the Postman's, because this is the global list settings that you you parameter your your parameters, then you can simply export your application to the to the to the other the other teams like your development team or your test teams or other colleagues, and they will simply change this URL the the application the, the the URL and all the port numbers where they deploy the applications. And those are you new please look for the my channels there is a many examples how can you globally say this uh, globally said this uh, url path and just you simply export this to your test cases to the other guys they just simply run the uh, same apply test cases run to the to changing that their host and the port number where the uh, deployment team dis deploy the your microservices application or you deploy the applications and other team or the other colleagues or your junior colleagues test the same test cases after the test passes and then you can do the deployment the final deployments uh, application into the different environments or different uh, into the customer machines that's what i mean <clears throat> so let's go back to the uh, to the to stop the deputy deployment applications so you see the all the logs properly what we expected even we can see uh, uh, do we have the run the, the post one post cases so we can send the one post I see the how efficient is the okay status and the number 401 uh, 400 uh, 400 to, uh, 202 there is a put methods you can put it like you know, what you like to do just like and uh, this is 200 you can say 201 <coughs> maybe the 999 uh, that you clearly understand what i send so it is it is what we expected the, all the things to properly include up the after delete all things work properly in the database level you can also check it now it is done and via the pz admins you can check it like here um, this is our this is the part i need to be discussed how can you set these your consequences in information so you can go to this is this is a, we already have these records we change it is the update the records and then all the information we expected information that's we expected so you have the no user role into information you can see that none, no nothing is there so you can more do the more postman testing but more not it is not important today but we can do it later so you can set here see the after the running the application you see the application is is generating the or you can run that this is the script files uh, generation sequence generations and then this is the three tables we created as far and uh, the hypernet will create these three models this is the part we need to be handled like we can we have the you see there's the example like how can you flyway build a schema startup schema not the hypernet itself so we can configure this thing that's the part i already discussed we will do step by start how can you uh, take the same migrations application not uh, not creating the 
Hibernate itself the schema, but you can create the schema by Flyway and Liquibase. This is, I say, the Flyway and Liquibase is the most professional way how can you we maintain the enterprise level applications with uh, database migration, database version control systems with, with that one. So let, let's go back to the our applications that we are. So we have application like here uh, in the applications. Then we have some that's I said we have a settings like we have 200 200 Z settings we have a local host maybe here the they said they will say the host number maybe the their IP address of the machine the available machine where they try to install this uh, the microservice application and we put it like our jar files because jar files located into the our root directory this is the jar files we are running and then and we have some like and then we have some like here yeah, the environmental setting that's i said we email file we have a different uh, documents for the developments production test reviewer release and ui this is done you can just simply change uh, the production port and you can simply change prod and uh, prod that means you try to deploy the uh, prod and you try to deploy the application into the into the production environments then then you can need to be changed your port number which port is free for this machine the production machine where the production machine ip address and so on so forth and then you change the the database names which database in the production system is located and then the default port number and the username and password of the of the production system database or the development system database or a test department testing database systems that's depend how it is it is done or how this works so i am checking how the you can override uh, you can set your environmental variables your parameters uh, and arguments and then and then how can you override those things into the your application.yml file They're exactly you can overwriting those informations because this is the hard code information for testing but this is not they need, need to be override with the externally that's the things we always we set these variables what we expect and after the setting the variable we just simply call the, our file the way the settings is done and then build a very simple statement with the java jar and then set the, the values what i am heavy i have it i already set it here so you see it's a really professional way so that means and if if i run the the start service the start uh, service cmd files and if we change the applications to has to be done run 2020 that means this application need to be uh, the uh, the start uh, need to be done 2020 port so let's let's run the applications let's let's have it's it is it is it is doing its job so it's all logging information is there you see the when the application is 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 running is a four um, uh, nine nine eight port so now we are same application with running uh, how we can externally run this override informations that's the things i need to be tried to do with you so that means with the application 2020 everything is same because we are the same database we are the same version of the ujar files and then we have the same configuration everything is done so let's have a go to the cmd you can the powershells to use it and you can just simply start start sorry start your start service the service cmd that means your application is started and it will be started what we expected like exactly the same so development environments this is the we are root directory into the applications and then and then you see the application is development and it's doing the same things and it has a 2020 port started applications and and it's exactly the same I think there will be the some some issues about the the database port number 4040 because we are using the same port 40 so application let's have a check so 2020 report is working and now we can go what we can go so that means we applications our application is running once application is running uh, 9998 port one other application is running same application is running 2020 port Two zero two zero part. What we can do just like go back to the our postman's, and then we can change our application. So it is running the application. You see nine nine eight nine nine eight application. So we just simply go there. So we need to be changed here. So it did. 
just very very standard and professional way to edit it uh, to, to do it